Hey everyone, today I'm going to be talking about Tome AI or Tome app. This video is directed towards beginners. I'm going to show you what Tome app is, what you can create with it, how to create with it, and all of those general uh, ideas about Tome app. So let's start by asking ourselves, what is Tome app? Tome app is uh, basically this website or application that you could use to create to automatically create presentations for you using AI. How so? You just type in some prompts and it just does all the work for you. You can edit it obviously later uh, to your liking, but this is the general idea and I'm going to show you how to use it right now. So if we go to this homepage, tome.app, this website right here, if you go to this homepage, it's just going to show you all of those uh, things that you can do with it, like a create and just shows you how to create a presentation, all of those things. You could keep scrolling and you will find more and more things you could do with this uh, website. So let's start by doing the sign up process. To sign up, you simply just go to tome.app and then you just click on try tome. Once you click on that, it should redirect you to this page, which where you will be signing in using Google or just sign up uh, using your email, password, all those things. So I have an account, so I'm just going to sign in. By the way, when you sign up, it may ask you for a company website. If you don't have one, you can just leave it. It's optional. So let's sign in since I have an account with Google. And let's click on this. So once you have created an account and you have this page right here, your personal uh, page, you will find all of those options, notifications, recents, and all of that. But in order to create a new uh, presentation, you just go ahead and click on create. Now, once you are in this create page, you will find all of those options that you can start using right away. But the main one that you want to be using is create presentation about. You click on that. Once you click on that, it will ask you what is the presentation about. And you just type in whatever topic that you want for the presentation. Let's say for this tutorial, I'm just going to say um, uh, cyber security. Let's create a presentation about cyber security. Oops, my bad. Secure. Right, so once you type in the topic, you just click on generate outline. Now it's going to be generating the topic and all of those headings right here, introduction to cybersecurity and all of that. Once you're happy with it, uh, you can add more obviously if you want and you can just uh, delete some if you want. It's all up to you. So once you're happy with the titles, let's say I don't want this, you just delete it. If you want to add something, you just click on here and you can add the heading that you want. Uh, I don't really have anything to say right now, so let's just delete it. So once you're happy with that, I'm sorry, cybersecurity again, it's just going to create the headings and all of those things. Let's delete some, let's make it four headings or four uh, slides, basically. You can regenerate uh, the headings if you click on that. And it's just going to show you more uh, options here. So let's delete this and just create uh, choose layouts. Now in the choose layout page, you'll be able to choose how you want the design to be. So let's just uh, pick this one, for example, and then you just click on next page. Now in here, you can also choose the layout for the uh, other page manually by clicking on next page. So let's say for this. But if you want to make it quick and just get it done with, you just click on generate all pages and it's just going to do everything by itself. Simple as that. 
So again, if you click on generate all pages from the get go, it will just create everything with the same design, same concept, and you should be good to go. So now we have one, two, three, and four slides that we have just picked. It's all about cybersecurity and the headings that it wrote. So we have, as you can see, uh, AI images that it just created for us. Now we can click on that and we can uh, adjust the uh, size and the placements for the pictures if you want. Let's just keep it normal. And then we can also change the picture if we want by just uh, uploading our own or generating a different picture by just clicking on generate over here and change the text to something else. But for now, let's just keep it as it is. So uh, after you adjust the pictures the way you want, you can also, let's say you don't like a uh, text, for example, this, this part over here, you don't like it, you can just uh, select it and then you can uh, AI edit and rewrite. When it does that, it's just going to rewrite it again. And if you don't like it and you want to customize it yourself, you can obviously type things yourself. So those are uh, some of the basic, th basic things that you can do. So again, let's rewrite the whole text for now. AI edit, rewrite is just going to do that for you. So uh, obviously you can just click on keep and now tome has just created a presentation for us with four slides we can rewrite the text that we don't like we can edit the pictures and what else can we do we can change the um, customizations of the page by clicking on this icon over here set theme now once you click on that set theme icon you can uh, choose whether you want it to be dark light, uh, dune, maybe ocean, all of those options are available to, available to you. Let's just keep it at Neptune. And over here in this page, you can also change the font and all of those things uh, over here. The color of the text also, the paragraph and the heading, uh, all of those things you can uh, change. So make it heavy text. It's all up to you. So basically, this this Tome app is going to make your life very simple by creating uh, personalized uh, presentations very, very easily. Now, what, once we go over here, we go to page, you can also change per page. So uh, let's go here. Let's go to page three. Let's make it different. We click on this page and let's make it dark. So as you can see, uh, page three is going to be dark, but then the rest of the uh, presentation is going to be the Neptune theme. So what else can we do? We can click on add media. From here, you can upload or generate an image, or we can just search an image from the web. So let's just type in cyber security. Maybe we can use this image right here. We can just add more images if we want, and it's going to be uh, changing the way how the way the page looks, obviously. So keep that in mind. Now we can also embed a few things. We can embed some videos, maybe GIFs, and all of those things. If we click on this right here, uh, it will it will ask us what we want to embed. Basically, we can embed a link to maybe a YouTube video, all of those things. We can just do it here. If we have a GIF that we want to embed, we can click on here and just paste the Jiffy link. Now, let's say we want to remove all of those pictures and stuff. Just click on here or just click on delete. Basically, you just right click and then delete. Right click, delete. Right click, delete if you want. Uh, so that's simply the the way you can uh, just create your presentation with tome we can also add a page if we want with the heading title so let's just heading 
and then uh, we use AI to create whatever we want in this uh, topic so we just click on uh, this or just do a control K and we go over to this right here just should say create a heading with if I can just find it oh create page about so create a page about uh, let's just uh, do usage of cyber security I have no idea what to, to, to the type so let's just do this uh, obviously there's a credit thing that you need to keep in mind for free you get 500 credits and you obviously use the credit when you use AI tools once you upgrade upgrade to pro it's going to be give, giving you more you need to uh, look uh, for the pricings and the plan in order to understand it more but for now just understand the free a plan is going to give you 500 while the pro plan is going to give you unlimited credits so i have just created uh the page and it just shows you this let's say i want to rewrite the text hover over it ai edit rewrite let's say i don't like this picture i go over it right click delete and we have this presentation so that's all you can you can obviously do more with it by just the control K panel is going to give you all those commands generate image search uh, from the web all of those things you have multiple options here you can just play around yourself and see what you can do with it but this is the basics of what you can create using tome app it's a very very strong tool and I highly recommend that you check it out and start using it for your own benefit. So that's it for the video and thanks for watching.